Hi, this is Eric, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about Santa Barbara Wine Tours today. And let's see, if you have a, have a look at this website here, this is Santa Barbara Wine Tours, that is the name of the website. And Santa Barbara, as you can see from the pictures, it's got beautiful scenery. So that's one good thing about it as far as wine tours go. Yeah, you can see there's a vineyard here. <clears throat> and b besides having a, a beautiful scenery and sunny weather, it also has a lot of great wineries. And f for example, yeah, d down here, it talk talks about just the different AVAs in Santa Barbara County. There there's four different AVAs, or uh, American Viticultural, uh, uh, Viticultural Areas, in other words, Appalachians. And let's see, one is here, Santa, ba Santa, ba Santa Inez Valley, there's Happy Canyon of Santa Barbara, Santa Rita Hills, and Santa Maria Valley, Santa Maria Valley. And all, all these Appalachians have a lot of uh, really good wineries. The, the ones, let's see, in, in here, Santa Rita Hills is especially good, good for uh, Chardonnay and Burgundy. They, they tend to get uh, a lot of fog there in the morning making it a bit cooler, so even though this is Southern California, the the uh, conditions are really good for growing those kinds of Burgundian, so-called so Burgundian varietals, uh, Chardonnay and Burgundy. And here's, the, this is a, this wine is from Curtis Winery, and that, that one is in the uh, Santa Ynez Valley. And they, they're, they, they make a lot of uh, Rhone-style wines, in, in this case, a, a white one, but they, they make both white and red Rhone style wines. And speaking of Rhone, Rhone style, there's let's see, also a very very good uh, web, uh, very very good winery is this one here, Tinsley's. They they make really good Syrah. In fact, there's Syrah is really some of the best in the world. And what one of my personal favorites. As far, as far as wineries go, is the, uh, the Aubon Climat, and that's that's run by Jim Clinton, who's made quite a name for himself, and he he, he makes the really kind of the Pinots, Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, a few other varieties, and very much in the Burgundy style, so very uh, not not quite such uh, high alcohol. It has a lot of a lot of the California Pinots, Pinot Noirs, and it's the, the really good bouquet and very, very similar to to Burgundy. And there's another another what po popular winery is the Fess Parker Winery. In that one, they're also quite f famous for their Syrah, but. And what one other very what f famous place in Santa Barbara is a vineyard. And here, uh, here, yeah, this is a picture of Fess Parker here. And yeah, and another uh, very very f famous place is this the Bien Nacido Vineyards. And here, here, this is he's this is one of the the guys who runs it. But a, a lot of different wineries, they, they source their grapes from the uh, Bien Nacido, and that in, including uh, Fess Parker, they, 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 they source some of their grapes from here, and Au Bon Climat gets a, lo a lot of their, they make a lot of their wines from grapes from the Bien Nacido. And it, it has also kind of similar to, to, to the Santa Rita Hills AVA. They have the fog coming in from the ocean in the morning, so it keeps it cool in the morning, and it kind of burns off in the afternoon. And it re results in them having a very long growing season, and also being able to grow a, a lot of different types of grapes. So, so anyways, uh, I, and here we have yeah, the Sideways Tour. If, it, it went, if anyone's ever seen that movie, Sideways, that's the movie that kind of really put the Santa Barbara wine country on the map. But it, it, at any rate, I really recommend that you look into taking a wine tour of the Santa Barbara wine country because it's, it's really one of the best places you can in, in, in the world for wine.